Hi, this is Nancy with Red Leaf Digi Scrapping. Thanks for joining me. The tutorial I'm going to share with you today will show you how to save your digital scrapbook page for uploading to an online gallery. I'm doing the tutorial in Photoshop CS2, however the same steps will work in any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. So to get started, I have a scrapbook page, a finished scrapbook page, on my screen. Now you can see on the right hand side there are a number of layers in the page because each different thing that I added to my page came into a different layer. The first step in saving your file is to flatten those layers to combine them into one. So to do that there's a couple of ways you can use. The first is to right click on one of the layers in the layers palette and select flatten image from the bottom of the menu. The other method you can use is to go up to the main menu, select layer, and then select flatten image down at the bottom of that menu. So I'm going to do that and you can see now in the layers palette my layers have combined into one background layer which includes the entire scrapbook page. The next step is to change the physical size of the page. To do that go to image and then select image size and the image size dialog box will pop up. Now you can see right now because I created my page as a 12 inch by 12 inch page it's a fairly large page 3600 pixels wide by 3600 high. Most online galleries suggest that you use a size of 500 pixels by 500 pixels so that's what we're going to adjust the page to. Now in order to do that you need to make sure the resample image box is checked otherwise you won't be able to go in and actually type in a new number of pixels. You also need to make sure that the constrain proportion box is checked and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to go in and change the width to 500. Now you can see that the height was automatically changed to 500 as well. That's because the constrain proportions box was checked so it automatically changed the height to match the width to avoid having the uh, my, my scrapbook page stretched out of proportion by accident. So now that I've changed the size I'm going to click OK and because we're only displaying the page at 12.2 percent all of a sudden it's got very small on my screen so I'm just going to zoom back in so I can see the whole page. Now the next step is to actually save the file so if you go up to your file menu and rather than using save or save as which is what you're probably used to using you're going to go down to save for web and this will show you a slightly different dialog box. In the bottom left corner it will show you that if I were to save the file right now with the settings that are selected it would save it as a JPEG file with a size of 68.25k. Most online galleries suggest that your pages be no more than 100k. Actually most galleries won't let you upload more than 100k size of, of page. So what we need to do is adjust this so that it's as close to 100k as possible without going over to get the best quality of image. Now just to quickly show you what happens if you drop your file size down too far I'm going to take the quality down to a 3. You can see now I have a really nice small image. It's only 14K, but the image itself is very pixelated and it's not a crisp image at all. So I'm going to go back up to my quality slider here and I'm going to start sliding that number up. So if we select 73, we now have a nice crisp clean image. It's nice and easy to see and as you can see the file size is just under 100k. So I'm going to go ahead and save at that size. Click on save and it will automatically use the name of your existing page as the file name. It shows you that it's going to save it as a JPEG file so go ahead and click save. And now you've saved your file and it's ready for upload to an online gallery. Thanks for joining me. The page that was used as the example today used the Beach Baby Kit that's available from Redleaf Digi Scrapping at colorlinedesign.com. Thank you.